A recent Harvard study found that childhood obesity rates have tripled in the U.S. in the past 30 years. Having kids eat healthier and involved in physical activities are ways to combat that, but aren't always the easiest options for parents. Our Simone Simpson attended the YMCA at the Coastal Bend Y for Healthy Kids Day to find out more. Simone? Hey, Brian, those kids were having a lot of fun out there. Parents in the Coastal Bend want their child to live healthier, but kids don't always like the way healthier foods taste. The fact that healthier food costs more than less healthier options isn't making it any easier on parents' wallets. These are just a few things I heard from parents at the Y for Healthy Kids Day. I have a nine-year-old girl that's very picky. She doesn't like healthy stuff. So even when you try to implement the healthy things, they push it away, they waste it, they don't want it. So it's just constantly running through money, whether they eat it or not, wasteful, throwing things away, it's just a struggle. Latia Smalls is a mom of two. High blood pressure, diabetes, strokes, run in my family. Although her 16-year-old son is an athlete, keeping his diet healthy can be difficult. He's a football player, so it's hard keeping up with him with eating constantly all day. He goes through things like money grows on trees. For parents like Alexandra Williams, who work all day, convenience is a main factor when it comes to deciding meals. From the time I drop them off to school until the time that they get off, and by the time I get off, you know, I'm tired and I'm like, oh, we need some quick. We're basically competing with technology at this point with kids, wanting to stay inactive and on their phones. And I think one of the ways that I've tried to combat that as a parent is by getting them involved in the Y. Fitness instructor Sarah Martinez says there are healthier options at the Y. It's a great place for kids to start sports, and it's all in one place. That's what's so amazing about it. You're not having to take your kid to a bunch of different locations. But like most things in Texas, everything is bigger. If you speak to some of the older generations, they'll tell you the same thing, that when they were younger, the portion sizes were much smaller, and the amount that we're eating now, it's difficult to combat that with movement. Enroll your kids in these leagues and these swim lessons and in all of these things that we that can help these kids stay active because if you have an active kid, they are less likely to be obese. Well, we just heard from Gwen. There are plenty of ways for your kids to get involved and stay active in sports at the Y. If you'd like to learn more, we'll have a link on our website. Brian.